Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering Informatica World 2015. Brought to you by Informatica World. Now, here's John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live here in Las Vegas for Informatica World 2015. This is the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, founder of Silicon Amazon. Jeff Frick here with the wrap up. We have Debbie O'Brien who's back to help us wrap up. We kicked off the segment and we're going to end it together yeah. as a team and a group. We're going to collaborate <laughs> yeah. on our shared learnings, what was magnified for us today. Um, just, we'll kick it off. What's, what's up? What are you guys seeing? What did you see? It, great energy, you know, and, and I hope you guys saw that your first time at Informatica World. Passionate execs, customers who love us, you know, our loyalty ratings are through the roof. We've got 5,800 customers and, and our products do as advertised. People really love them and there's such a huge need. So um, that's really emulated throughout the conference. Jeff, what did you see? Yeah, if, you know, you can feel that. And, and uh, we often talk about uh, ServiceNow, not to bring it by other shows, but ServiceNow and, and Splunk as as shows where there's definitely a really intimate vibe, right? People are still in the hallways, they're still sharing information, they're helping each other out. There's a lot of passion for the senior executives and I thought it was it was good today and I don't know how much, obviously never on the queue before, to get a chance to get the, uh, the senior executives on and really yeah. kind of expose the personality a little bit more of the yeah. people that are behind the company. And, and you've got some big personalities here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we definitely do. I mean, you can see from Anil to Amit and Marge and Sohaib, people love what they do and they really, they think data is changing the world, but it is. It really is a differentiator today. I had a lot of fun. Sohaib was really interesting. Talk about the Oracle story about Larry Ellison, how he was there in 1982 and left, you know, just, you know, he was there for, for many, many years with Larry. So yeah. that was interesting color around his background. And he was very candid. He shared some candid remarks as the chairman, CEO, um, super smart guy, yeah. great guy, must be a great guy to work for. Um, and then we had customers on. We had the, the Humana company, that's a Fitbit, gives you social data. We've had the Ivan on, who's strategy guy, who's awesome. Mm -hmm. And Marge, she was cracking me up, but she was so smart. Really hit it off with her. I like I liked her. She's a data geek like oh, us, yeah. and and uh, as a CMO, really plugged into what's happening. So, yeah. just a lot of great guests and a lot of great cultural fit here with the cube, Jeff. I thought it was a great day. Yeah, it was it was a good day. Um, the other thing is, I think you know the the roots of Wikibon obviously go back to storage, and and, and you've heard David Floyer and, and Dave Vellante talk all the time. At the end of the day, the apps to this to that to this to that. It's got to sit someplace, right? Yeah. So the storage is always it's got to be it's got to be stored somewhere. And really, I think it's inf interesting how Informatica has taken this very similar approach. It's the data. So regardless of whether it's cloud, it's mobile, it's social, it's inside the firewall, outside the firewall. A lot of stuff's moving. It's dynamic. It's structured, unstructured. At the end of the day, at the bottom, yeah. sitting on that storage, is a data layer. And so really approaching the problem, I think um, Sue talked about. All that stuff's complicated and diverse, but if you look at the problem through the lens of the data, now you've got kind of a unifying structure by which you can address the opportunities, address the problems, and start to tackle some of the things that are going on and just do it at the data structure, especially in the context of, of the security conversation. Yeah, and we had Anil Chakravarti on, who's the Chief Product Officer. Um, he was awesome, and he's been on theCUBE before, so it was great to see him back again. But he went deeper into the real roadmap stuff, talking mm -hmm. about like the security piece. And I think what's interesting is that the security problem falls on Informatica's shoulders now when you talk about the perimeter of security. Yeah. And so the opportunity we kind of teased out of Ivan was the secret sauce of the metadata is interesting because now you have a lever to solve a security problem. That, to me, was a little interesting data point we acquired today that I thought was something that I will, I will walk away with a little nugget, tuck it in my back pocket, and, and, and walk away with that little nice piece of nut. To me, that was a fun part. And of course, we had uh, you know, some great guests. We had Bill Burns on talking about you know, security. He's very yeah. dynamic, he's uh, very technical, but he was very candid about you know, getting people excited about security as a discipline. Yeah. Young kids, whether they're in high school, college or looking for a career, mm -hmm. you don't have to have that pedigree to get into the security. Yeah. You could be a gamer, you could be you know, creative. Yeah. That was interesting. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Bill has been a great addition to the team and to have our first CISO and someone who is really looking at how we hold all of our customer data and how we keep it safe in the cloud, um, he'll he'll be great and invaluable for us for years. What did you see in the floor? What was in the hallways? We heard a lot of great stuff going on out in, the, out in the action there. What's going on here? Yeah, wonderful buzz. There's almost 200 breakout sessions. So everything from the very deep, you know, how do I improve my mappings all the way up to how am I as a business practitioner getting the most out of my data? So people are really excited about our hands-on labs, our best practice sessions and, and getting really to meet our experts and uh, figure out how to make data a competitive advantage. What yeah. was the big buzz that you guys see in the keynote this morning? I mean, the dashboard, I'm sure you got the social media dashboard, the Twitter stuff going on. What was the big excitement in the keynote? What was, what was people most tweeting about or most active share of voice wise? I think share of voice security. That is absolutely one that is on everyone's mind. They want to know, you know, with all the breaches, how they can really keep that data safe. And Informatica is taking a whole different roadmap, right? So we're convincing people of a different paradigm and securing it at the source. So I think everybody wants to know what we're doing differently and how we can help them gain a competitive advantage. Yeah. And, and like I said, when uh, Sue was on, I couldn't believe at the end of every single section, he just again reached out to the to the audience in first person voice and said, you know, this is a tremendous yeah. opportunity for you yeah. now here. Yeah. Uh, and he did that every single time after every single, um, you know, mm -hmm. product manager came up or whatever to talk about you know, products and, and offerings. I, I thought that was really interesting because A, we know there are huge opportunities uh, for the people that are in the business. B, we need more people uh, to get into the business. There aren't enough people, but really for him to, to take that approach, I thought was very interesting and really uh, empathetic to the crowd as opposed to really I'm up on the I'm up on the lectern and let me tell you about my company and my products. Absolutely. I mean this is not just an ETL developer crowd. We want people who have cloud skills, master data management skills, security skills, right? It makes them more valuable to their companies and to their uh, customers they serve. Right. So um, th a huge message for us. Yeah and the thing the um, the CSI CISO discussion we have throughout the the role of the chief data officer. Mm -hmm. That was interesting because there's a lot of debate on that right now and I, f I find that very fascinating because I'm watching this really closely with the team at Wikibon because I believe that there's a pr problem out there that people are burying their head in the sand. That mm -hmm. is, is that organic innovation has to come from experimentation and small bits of failures we know in Silicon Valley you iterate and always keep moving which is the core yeah. philosophy of Informatica but in a corporation fear of failure also could be a stunting the growth of innovation yeah. so command and control policies could be a wet blanket on innovation. That's my belief, I believe that to be true. However, if you balance it right, mm -hmm. we ask that question, that's where we're trying to get some insight into some use cases. So again, it's super early, but we're looking for that kind of signal of, okay, show the examples of where you could have data governance for protection, liability, or whatnot, that is important, but don't squish the innovation. Absolutely. I mean, that's an area we're still exploring more of. Yeah, and I think that's going to be a key, right? I mean, data is proliferating, and we want to be the folks who put it in the hands of the business users or IT users, as opposed to keeping it locked up. So we see a big responsibility in making sure that we can do that safely, and that the CISOs can sleep at night, you know, or the CFOs, CEOs, whoever it is. So um, it's a big part of Informatica's story to help um, drive creativity and innovation. All right, well, we're excited to be here. Thanks for having Thanks us. For I having think us. Uh, for the folks out there watching, the Cube came here at Informatica 2015, great strategy. Really interesting Switzerland strategy, going for the horizontal data fabric play. Very clear what they're going for. Working with others, playing well within the ecosystem, but really it's about increasing that horizontal breadth and enabling people to have creative solutions, create disruption and growth. Great strategy, and again, they're going to go private. I know it's not announced yet, but I think that's going to be a good thing my, from my standpoint, because then you could really start to get creative, get some new products out the door, but certainly a great opportunity. Jeff, any final comments you'd like to share? No, well, just to follow up on that, I mean, our, the, the interview we had with Michael Dell, I think, compared the one that we had with him last year and the one that we had with him the year before. I mean, the enthusiasm, and he said, I think, unshackled. The team was unshackled now mm -hmm. that they didn't have to really worry about quarterly stuff. They could be a little bit more strategic and long term. So I think that is an interesting development. Obviously, TIPCO uh, followed suit, so it seems to be a trend right now in Silicon Valley, and obviously, those investors would not have made this investment if they didn't think they're going to get a return and really uh, grow the thing. And so it's a great track times. record of, in, in the pipeline of companies that go private, come back, go public again. We saw that you know many times, and it's it's part of the model. And you know, I've had CEOs, public companies, tell me like, off the record, hey, you know, 
it's such a grind to do the quarterly earnings. And then, but the worst thing that would bother them, all the shorts, you know, shorten the stock, <laughs> and all kinds of games and arbitrage going on. That all the effort was customer satisfaction for the stock price, versus focusing on customer satisfaction for the revenue, which is customers. So I think that to me is the big dynamic. That's a bigger story that we'll explain more on social media. So we have to ask Debbie, what's the bumper sticker? We are, this is John's favorite question. I, I'm going to steal it from you. Okay, go ahead. As the cars are driving say, away, I... what's the bumper sticker for Informatica World? All before? things data. All things data, short and sweet. Hashtag Info15. That could even be like one of those little round bumpers, the little one in the window. You don't even need the bumper. Info15, uh, hashtag. Go to crowdchat.net if you want to join the conversation. Uh, hashtag Info15. Go to Twitter, Info15. This is theCUBE here live in Las Vegas, wrapping it up for the day. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more CUBE and go to siliconangle.tv for our next broadcast. OpenStack in Vancouver next week. Thanks for watching.